Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome to Simple Homemade Projects. In today's video, I am going to show you that how you can make a lab bench power supply at home. To make it, I am going to use this 12 volts and 3 amperes step down transformer, this voltmeter emitter, some power cable, this 12 volt DC cooling fan, a bridge rectifier, alligator clips, mini switch, two banana jacks and finally the PCB. So here's the circuit diagram which I designed in the easy EDA and then I converted the diagram into the PCB and here you can see the top and the bottom layer of the PCB and then after checking all the connections I uploaded it to the JLC PCB website. This video is also sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is one of the largest manufacturer of PCBs around the world. Now, nowadays they are providing up to 6 layer PCBs with SMT stencil and SMT assembly also. So don't forget to check out their webpage. And here you can see that I have received the PCBs. And here you can check the build quality of the PCB. And now friends, I am going to complete the soldering process. Here are all the components which you will need. Here friends is the input. Here is the BD139 transistor. Here is 4.7 ohms and 10 volt resistor. This is D1047 transistor. This is LM317 voltage regulator. This is the output terminal. This is the indicator LED. Here is the 5K potentiometer and here is the 10K potentiometer. This is a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor for the LED and this is a 220 ohm resistor. Now I am going to solder all the components. And friends do not forget to use the heat sink with both of the transistors. Here friends I have completed the main soldering and now for the potentiometers you have to extend the wires and here friends I have completed it and now I am going to make the housing for our power supply here are the MDF pieces two of them are of 14 by 9 centimeter and two of them are 20.2 by 14 centimeter and other two are 22.2 by 9 centimeters this is the base and the top one this is these are the side pieces and these are the front and the back pieces and now friends i am going to cut the front and the back pieces in order to fit the switch fan wires the jacks and the voltmeter and the emitter here friends you can see that i have drilled the holes for the cooling fan switch voltmeter emitter potentiometers and banana jacks and here you can see that i have painted all of them and now i am going to use some wood glue to assemble the body and here you can see guys that i have completed half of the structure and now i am gonna let it dry and here are all the components friends and now I'm going to start the soldering process and you can find the connection diagram in the description below. And here friends you can see that I have attached the on off switch, the cooling fan, transformer and the bridge rectifier. And now I'm going to install the emitter voltmeter, banana jacks and the PCB of our voltage supply. So here friends our power supply is now completed. Here you can see the power switch the cooling fan with the guard, transformer, the PCB, here is the bridge rectifier, here is the voltmeter emitter, this is the voltage control, this is the current control and these are two banana jacks for the output. And now after completing the body by attaching the remaining pieces, I am gonna test it out. And here is the cable with the banana jacks. And now I'm gonna turn it on. Here you can see the switch. 
and here you can listen the fan so here's the meter friends this knob is for the voltage so you can attain a maximum of 15 volts and minimum 1 volt and this is the current knob so now I'm gonna test it out and friends here I have an LED light and now I'm going to increase the voltage and you can see that at about 8 volts it started and now it is just glowing so here it is consuming about 0 0.03 amperes and now I'm going to increase the current and here you can see the brightness is increasing gradually now it is at 0 0.42 amps and now it is at maximum which is 0 0.57 amperes here you can see the brightness and now I'm gonna reduce it here friends I have a DC geared motor now I'm going to adjust the voltage at 12 volts as you can see it is not rotating at all so now I'm going to increase the current and now it has started but it is very slow now I'm going to increase the current and you can see the speed is increasing at 0 0.2 amps approximately and now I'm going to increase the voltage also So friends if you are satisfied with my project then please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to share it and subscribe to my channel. Allah Hafiz.